More and more producers continue to discover the benefits of using nitrogen-rich litter or manure to increase their crops yields. Located near Searcy, Arkansas, Tripp Farms works roughly 1,800 acres of corn annually. After finishing second in the county's corn yielding contest, Billy Tripp tells us how modifying his nutrients management program has increased his yields. I'm Billy Tripp and I, I'm in Griffithville, Arkansas and we're solid. We farm just pretty well corn year in, year out. What I done, I had I added chicken litter to the to the practice that I had been using. It's the only thing I did, which made me about 33 bushels an acre extra. Oh, what I done, I borrowed a, a, another spreader from my neighbor and tried it. I could see it just wasn't going to work. And I thought, well, if I don't have a yield increase, it's not going to matter, so I'm going to wait and see on my yield increase what I'm going to actually have. So when we cut the crop, it was 33 bushel an acre, so I thought, well, I need to go ahead and find another spreader that I could do something and stay in front of a 40-foot planter with. And that's why I went ahead and chose two blinds. Went on the internet and found the nitro. It performs excellent, better than I had expected, better than I had anticipated. It does real well. It does three ton, six ton, and one pass. It's very fast. You get the volume out of the machine, it spreads evenly, it does dry and wet. I really am happy with the machine. We're just going to use it every year and it's a, it's a quality piece. It looks like it's going to last for years and years. Built very good. That's, that's what I like about the machine. Most of the chicken people want to clean out in the fall. So what we're doing, we're stockpiling it because it needs to go out in front of the planter where I can get my nitrogen. I, I want to keep my nitrogen that's in the litter. And by putting it in the fall, you're going to lose a lot of that. So we are stockpiling it. We've got to have that. I've got chicken houses that's coming in next to me, so I'm going to remove those beaters and use my tractor and haul that in and chain it off and pile it in piles. So that's going to really save on my cost per litter per ton of getting it, you know, getting it hauled. The best spreader that I've seen that I can that I've used personally, and I'm very very picky, and that'd be the spreader I'd buy hands down. It's gonna it's gonna last you a long time, a lifetime. 